Nice to see all of you. Good and I see you're all dressed for a big event tonight. We're dressed for you. Oh, of course. <laughs> I know, but you excited about tonight? Of course. Yes. I'm very excited. Nervous? 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 Of course excited. we're nervous. Why? Uh, I mean, it's a big day. I think, um, I mean, I think we're expecting our dad to do really well, but after working so hard here for months, it's just, you know, to, for this to be the final day, it's, it's a little nerve wracking. Did you give him any advice today? Or a lot advice? of advice? Yeah. Oh, I said, you know what? Nobody's worked harder than you. And now it's up to the New Hampshire voters. And you know what? I think we feel at peace. We feel great about it. And uh, whatever happens, we accept and we feel pretty good about where we are. Is it what you expected, the campaign? I mean, like all the hard work. No, I don't think we had any idea what we were in for a few months ago, but I can tell you um, it has been an honor to do this together as a family, and I think we'll look back and be just so grateful for this opportunity. You really learn to just love your country because you have the ability to go out and, and earn a vote from somebody, and that's a really cool thing to do. Um, and seeing it from the beginning when you know we just had little house parties to now where we have you know over 400 people at these town halls and you see people in tears loving my dad's message and connecting to him and uh, it's been really fun to see that process mm -hmm. and we'll remember it forever. Sleep deprived? Oh, yes. Well, I, I <laughs> you, all say, you all say it at once. At once. I, I think you're running on so much adrenaline all the time that you don't even think about sleeping. Not so. at all. No, um, I, we, I couldn't sleep at all last night. I don't know about no. you guys. It was like but. Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things that I always wonder about for, you know, I've talked to candidates' children, whether it's, you know, uh, Representative Bachman's or Senator McCain's or anybody's children over all the years, is that how tough it is uh, for the family if someone doesn't fully embrace, you know, your parent. Um, is, it, is it hard on you guys that someone, you know, may not fully embrace your father or doesn't get him or, you, or says something you don't like? You know, the one thing I've noticed is if they don't embrace it, it's because they just don't know him. You know, they don't know what he represents and they haven't had a chance to sit and talk to him. And every time that he does that with someone, it's very rare that I, I see someone walk away saying, eh, I'm not interested or I don't agree with them, you know. And so it really, I think, is a lack of knowing him. So we don't take it personally at all. You know, we're, we're proud of what he stands for and who he is. How about you? you, don't, you does it bother you if someone sort of jabs him or says something? Hey, that is what is great about America is that everybody can have their own opinion. But like Abby said, um, once I get to know my dad, I, I, it's very rare that we find someone who walks away who's completely like not on board. So, I don't know. How much communication with the, the rest of the family? Because you guys are sort of, the, you're the three who are staying out and I see you of course. I saw you at the diner today. Um, are you keeping the, uh, the rest of the family informed of everything? Absolutely. We've got our, our two boys uh, who uh, call us every day that um, are out doing their thing. and um, They've called us like every they, they, they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. They have, our family has never called. been closer. Yeah, to they be just. They, Gracie, who was 12, would be very sad if we didn't go on to South Carolina and didn't do well. She would rather that more than anything. She believes so much in her dad and uh, has been what he calls his senior foreign policy advisor. Mm -hmm. So she is just watching every minute and having a great time. And Asha, who's six, just says daddy's running for a surprise. So yeah. not sure what that surprise <laughs> is, sure but, she's, is. <laughs> but she just says it's a surprise. But no matter what he's going on in South Carolina, I mean, no matter what happens tonight, right? I mean, is that the understanding? I mean, look, I mean, I know that no matter what you get, you're going to be disappointed and happy for a lot of reasons and everything, but South Carolina is, is a definite, right? We have to beat market expectations, and the media sets those expectations for us, and, and uh, we will see what happens tonight. I know that we were at single digits last week. So if we can get past that and uh, do well tonight, uh, I think that we will leave here with a head of steam and, and ready to go. You're going to hit South Carolina, the three of you? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Are yeah, you ready for us? Tickets are booked. <laughs> Have you ever been to South Carolina before? Yeah, we, we, were, just there last we week. were just there actually on Thursday and Friday doing a little groundwork before the family gets down there this week. What's the difference? Between South so, Carolina yes, between and between campaign and South Carolina. There's barbecue down in South Carolina. <laughs> Are you saying they have better food? Yeah, um, well, I don't know. Manchester has some pretty good food, I'd say. This but. has been an amazing process, though, that our family has been able to experience nothing like New Hampshire, where you come in and people say, at the beginning they said that they have to shake your hand several times before they, they decide they're going to vote for you. And we kind of laugh that off when we first came in. It's true. And we met people more, you know, we, we'd see them, they'd say, I've met you three times, you've got my vote. But it means something. And you realize this is an extraordinary process, very special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we're, all <laughs> yeah. we're really also, excited. <laughs> you also realize that you know it's a great primary for the rest of the country to see who is most qualified because all these people get the opportunity to meet them, meet their families, shake their hands, and hear their message. And most people around the country don't get the opportunity to do that. And so mm -hmm. I think we're really lucky to have a primary like New Hampshire. Yeah, that's why I think New Hampshire really sets the stage for South Carolina and Florida. So if we do well, which 
I think we're going to do well tonight. Um, I, I think going into South Carolina, um, I think we'll get a lot of buzz there. Well, you know, so the primary system actually allows the candidate to go out and, and meet the people, but there is there are inequities built into the system. Money, for instance, who can get the airways? Because that does make a difference. I, mean, I, mean, I don't need to tell you all that, uh, you know, that the system is certainly not you know, perfect in terms of uh, divvying up everything. But I think resources go with momentum as well. So if you leave here with momentum, I think you see the resources come in. People get behind you. People get behind your message and excited about it. And, and we've seen in the last 24 hours more coming in than we've seen, you know, this whole campaign. And that, that says a lot. Yeah, I think it'll just happen overnight if he does well. So that's not something we're really concerned about at this point. But it's nerve-wracking. It's scary, it is, isn't it? Do we look scared? <laughs> well, just because you believe so much in... in, in you know, and, and my husband and, and the, um, the girls believe in their dad, and we know how hard he has worked, and uh, tirelessly, because he loves his country so much. So because of that, I think we probably feel the emotions that a family would feel. Of course. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, good luck to, uh, to, your, to your father, to your husband uh, tonight, and uh, we'll see you in South Carolina. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.